The AT&T Developer Program, in close collaboration with the Foundry, sponsors contests, hackathons, and other events to facilitate innovation throughout the year. One such contest this year was called Power Your Future. Through it, we ask you to submit applications that benefit the environment, save energy, or encourage consumers to live a more sustainable lifestyle. By the end of the contest, we'd received more than 100 entries focused on sustainability. We selected four finalists, then asked consumers via the web and our social networking sites to download, use, and vote for their favorite. And now, I'd like to introduce the winner of the AT&T Power Your Future contest, People Power. <laughs> to show us how this app works, please join me in welcoming the VP of Sales and Marketing for People Power, Bill Bean. Bill, Thanks, good Jeff. to have you. It's an honor to be here. We really are appreciative of what AT&T has done and given us the opportunity, along with many other developers, a chance to show how we are trying to tackle climate change. Well, there were a ton of great apps, but yours was voted the best. Yep. So tell us more about your app. So um, our app is coming from the idea of our kids. They gave us the challenge to tackle climate change and energy consumption. So we went back to our garage in Palo Alto. That's honestly where our office is. And we said, how do we tackle the problem of vampire power, which is standby power and sucks out money out of all of our wallets around this room every day? In fact, in the US alone, we waste about $10 million every year on this problem by just keeping our appliances and our electronics on at night. Now, electricity costs have gone up every year over the past five years. It's increased actually 27% over that time frame in a time when every dollar counts. There's an easy solution. If we all unplugged, for example, our TVs and our PCs at night, we would actually save the value of energy produced by two coal-fired power plants. But nobody really wants to do that. Who goes and unplugs things except probably my dad, right? <laughs> so we designed software that does that. And that's what we'd like to show. So the app that we won the award with was uh, version one. Yeah. It's an open source app. So actually what we're going to do is show you an app that we just launched today uh, with Monster. So um, what we've done, and we can do this with any, uh, any brand, is actually use our open APIs to actually connect their devices to our cloud and enable them to, to manage it. So right here you see this mm -hmm. device. Mm -hmm. Now, my CEO just had a heart attack. <laughs> All right, so now we actually have, um, in addition to dropping things, one thing that you typically have is with an out-of-the-box experience, you want to be able to add a new device. So is, that hard, me, is that hard to do? Well, no, actually, no. We've developed software. Thank you, Jeff. We've developed software that enables you to actually scan the QR code. So there we go. We just have quick. a new device. And then we plug in the light. Now, actually, in the home environment, it could be a entertainment center, it could be a PC setup, it could be almost anything. Is this a light from your actual home? Uh, what goes on in Vegas stays yeah, okay. in Vegas, right? So, all right, so let me actually uh, give it a name. So I'll go here and I'll name this. I would name it Jeff, but, That's but we haven't That's had good. enough jokes, no, right? Let's right. go That's with right. AT&T. Okay. All right, so. Um, this is the moment of truth, Eureka moment, where Edison meets Bell and they dance in Vegas. So here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh. All right, now, imagine this. this. We actually have a secret switch that turns off all the lights on, <laughs> okay. on the strip. You want to yeah. give it a try? Uh, no, I'll pass right. on that. Right. Thank so you. So we'll though. just stay with this one. Yeah. And there we go. We can turn it off. We can turn it on. Now, other things you'll see down here is a program. I won't go into that because we don't have enough time. Well, why not? <laughs> but basically, we could actually edit this and add, as you can see, a time schedule. And this is where the power really gets in. So um, guys, just imagine actually adding that yourself and turning something off at 10 PM, right? So for example, and I won't go through the whole thing, but if I did it again and added an on at 10 AM, basically from now on, your power in your home, your home entertainment center and so on would actually be cutting 50% of your power every day. You could do all that remotely. You can do all that remotely. That's we great. can also, uh, if I go back, you know, we'll just go through the whole thing. No, we won't, because no, I know you guys you. will yank me. <laughs> um, if we, we also have a home and away switch, so when someone's traveling away from their home, it turns it all off automatically. Well, that is really, really impressive. Thank you.
So to answer your question, the best savings comes when you add all that what we just showed with things we didn't have time to show, which is social media and automated behavioral controls developed by ourselves and with Stanford. And what that does, it increases the energy savings by 10 to 20 percent. So finally, Jeff, I'd really like to thank you and the AT&T team for sponsoring this contest and this event. We really appreciate it. Ah, thank it's you. our pleasure. Very impressive application, Bill. Congratulations thank again. You. Now.